Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy E Games. We are back in Genshin Impact for another week of my wishes. And yeah, timestamps are in the description below for those who want to skip right to it. And yeah, so this is the first week of the Sino and Ayato reruns. Um, it has swapped over since the um, Farina and Baiju banners. And yeah, my original plan was to spend uh, as much resources as I, it required me to to get Farina and then skip these banners, seeing as how I want my resources to come back. But uh, now looking at it, uh, I don't have Ayato yet. And um, I was just going to like kind of go with it and be like, oh, I don't have Ayato, but I have no resources. It's just the way a free-to-play player is going to have to make decisions. But then... The four stars on this banner is Xiangling, Shinobu, and Kirara. And um, Shinobu and Kirara are like two characters I can actually still pull. Shinobu, I can get more constellations for. I don't even think I have that many constellations for her. So this banner is kind of very good for me. <laughs> and uh, on top of that, I actually don't even have Kirara unlocked. And um, yeah, this this is just like calling out to me to try and attempt at the very least to try to get Kirara out of this but uh, at the same time I don't have that many resources so <laughs> I was thinking maybe I'll only do 10 wishes just to try my luck at this banner but yeah of course I already have Sino so that's the reason why I am wishing on Ayato's banner but uh yeah um let's release a Shao Lantern for good luck and uh we'll see what's up Loop. All right, where's the Shell Lantern? All right, Shell Lantern, give me good luck. Hopefully this next 10 pulls will give me something good. <laughs> so yeah, the reason why I didn't want to pull on Ayato's banner as much was because I already got New Volette and Farina recently, and they're both Hydro. And on top of that, I already have Ye Lan and Mona as like uh, Hydro DPSs, so there wasn't really that much need for another Hydro DPS, even though I don't have this character. <laughs> so that was my kind of logic in not wanting, or my logic in skipping this banner, even though I don't have him. But uh, yeah, let's just take a history. I don't think... Yeah, Farina was my last 5-star. I essentially pulled her and uh, stopped. So I'm the furthest away from a 5-star pity at this moment. So if I pull uh, Ayato, it'll be like extremely good luck. <laughs> but yeah, of course, what I really want here is Kirara. So yeah. All right, here I go. My only 10 wishes on this banner for this week, hoping to pull at the very least Kirara. <laughs> I'd settle for Shinobu. Hopefully it's not Xiangling for the 4-star pity. And uh, if I get Ayato, then it's going to be the best day ever. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right. That's what we have. Oh, I got Kirara right off the bat. This is awesome. Uh, so this is a new character. And uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting this. I was for some reason really pessimistic about this week of Wishes. But uh, the very first thing I got was the thing I wanted. So, <laughs> And of course, um, I said this before, but I'll say it again. If you get a 4-star at the very first pull out of your set of 10, there's a really good chance to get another 4-star near the end because uh, there's also Soft Pity on the 4-star as well before it hits like the 10-pull Hard Pity. So once you get to around like 7-ish, the chances of you pulling a four star increases like dramatically so i can potentially get something else that's good <laughs> i won't uh press my luck too much so no. all right <laughs> black tassel slingshot killing tails of dragon slayer black tassel harbinger of dawn emerald orb sky rider's sword Emerald Orb. Yeah, I got another 4-star near the end, and it's only a Sacrificial Sword, so... <laughs> I think I still can use this, actually. I can. I guess we can check it out in the checking out loot section of this video, but yeah. I believe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so I got a, another 4-star right at the end. Uh, this is usually the case 
like I said before. So yeah, I'm really happy. I got another character. She's a shield character, so I haven't seen a shield character for a very long time. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to see how she plays. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm really happy with my pulls this week. All right, um, let's check out Kirahara. Let's check out the loot. One of the things about checking the loot that I've been kind of thinking of was that unless I pull a new character, I'll check it out. But if if it's like a consolation or if it's like a new weapon, I won't really worry about it too much. <laughs> hey, it's almost like I got a sacrificial sword just for her. <laughs> oh, I can, um, I guess, max this one out. I might as well, right, since I have another one right here. I'll max this one out that Chi Chi's holding. All right, so that's one of them. Loop. Right. And of course, the other one is straight up Kira. Huh? I don't have anything for her uh, weapon-wise. I haven't really thought about how I should build her or anything. So yeah, let me know down in the comments um, how you would build her. All right, let's take a look at some of her animations. Uh, this is her walking. She actually have cat paws on her feet as feet. But her, she has like human hands, I guess. <laughs> Does she have cat ears as well? No, she has human ears. She looks really weird compared to like other animal looking characters. Like, uh, if you compare her to Diona, I guess maybe they're not the same kind of cat person. Diona has like cat ears and her hands are kind of like cat paw -y. And um, she's wearing shoes, so you don't really get to see how her cat feet look like. But yeah, you can kind of see Kirara's like cat feet. <laughs> she doesn't wear shoes, it looks like. Unless they're shoes shaped like cat feet. Now she has two cat tails. Right. This is her jumping. This is her attacks. One, two, three, four. Okay, so she only attacks with her sword on the first swipe. And then she throws it away in the second one. And then she just like uses her claws, I guess, for the rest of it. Which is uh, kind of on, on theme with her character. I like how the sword on her back kind of... It's kind of like Ayaka's way of carrying the sword on her back. It's not like more vertical, it's more horizontal than um, compared to other characters. Okay, her charge attack is also just claws and she like meows at us. <laughs> she bounces back into ready stance. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ways she, how she gets back to ready stance after each like hit. She swirls and bounces back into ready stance. Does bounces and does a little like I don't know what you would call that, like a little skip back to ready stance. Bounces back to ready stance after like a drop. An axe kick? Is that an axe kick? What do you call that kick? Yeah, she has like like a uh, a hair flip. Let's do that again. I don't really like how the camera slowly zooms out as you attack. But yeah, she does a little hair flip at the end of her very last uh, normal attack chain. <laughs> this is her plunging, which is pretty standard for a sword user. And this is her running. Okay, so this is... This is how she summons her shield, I guess. She does a little backflip kick. Backflip kick? Bicycle kick? <laughs> And if you hold it, she turns into a little, like, floating cat box thing. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's super adorable. So it, it kind of implies that she can actually kind of take different forms. She can transform into, like, an actual cat and be in a box. Because uh, when she actually does transform, you can see four cat paws coming out of it at the bottom. And of course, she must be a bit... She must transform into something a bit smaller in order to fit into that box. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I'll, I'll check anything else out. That's probably good for today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I definitely felt good about today's polls. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how your polls have been doing. Have you been playing this game? And uh, yeah, I'm glad I got Kira out of this. I will probably think about building her right away after this video, <laughs> after I conclude this video. So yeah, 
Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. I gotta go now. Bye-bye. <laughs>